Hello and welcome. This is EDC with Kane and Oaken. No, no, uh, no, no, that's no. Not, I don't know. What do you mean? I don't like it. I want to be back on my side. This, I don't like it on the this left. This seems like my right hand. No, so much better. No, 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 no. I don't like this side. The right side of the couch if you're sitting on it, left side of the couch if you're looking at it. Oh. That's my side with that book that I'm reading, Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hold that thought. Oh, yeah, hold on. Shuffle around there. <clears throat> Let's start over. All right. <clears throat> Welcome. This is EDC with Oaken and Kane. I am Oaken. <laughs> and I'm Kane. And this is the living room in the normal fashion where I like to sit, where Kane likes to sit, where we like to do things. It feels more natural over here. I like it so much better. I'm more comfortable already. Now, I'm sure that you guys are not here uh, for that uh, silly gag, but, <laughs> you know, we, we are. I had a great time. So, <laughs> we have a quick little overview about something that is uh, new to us. Well, new to Kane, um, but oh, really, really, really like this guy. And, you know, why don't, why don't, yeah, why don't you go ahead all right, and watch right. that. So, what do we have here? Ba -ba -da -bomb. Mm -hmm. The Benchmade Mini Bug Out. Not the full-size version. This is the Mini. This started its life, <laughs> as many this do. Started its life <laughs> <laughs> with a different scale. Obviously, this came in the white um, FRN, I guess, uh, whatever plastic um, scale you want to call it. But came white scale, um, coated blade, and all black hardware, as well as the black um, mini deep carry clip. This was switched out. For the flitanium brass scales, nice stone wash finish, and yeah, S30V blade, absolute beauty. So yeah, I, <clears throat> I to to be honest, was kind of uh, tossing between the uh, bug out and the Para 3 lightweight. I ended up going for the uh, Para 3 lightweight. Um, uh, but the bug out is undeniably, uh, it's gotten a lot of attention for a lot of good reasons. Um, it is very lightweight, American made, a lot of good stuff to love here. But for me, I just can't resist putting brass or copper scales on these. I feel like it just begs for it. And especially on these uh, mini variations. Because, oh, that just has such a great feel to it. Oh, really, really, really do uh, love that little bit of, of, of girth to it um, added by the scales there. So really, really, really love that. But I know what everybody's curious about. Why did you get a lightweight knife and destroy the lightweightedness of it? Um, you know, because we wanted to. That's exactly why. Because... <laughs> because, Instagram is why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did it for the gram, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, real quick, uh, you know, talking about the added weight from the scales. Uh, let's let's do a, a weight on this guy. Uh, so first off, this started at 1.5 ounces uh, back when it had the FRN scales. Uh, go ahead and plop that little guy oh, down. Oh, I broke the. Oh, oh my no. gosh, mm -mm. we're gonna have to reset that scale. That's, wow. Good zero. thing you hadn't opened your orange Z soda yet. Zero it out. Okay. Is that even gonna work now that we've flip flopped it over? Nope. That it. I think I broke it. Oh. <sighs> you probably can't see it. Guys, this is what happens when you try and recycle gags. Yeah. Let's get this out of here, and we'll have to use our backup scale. It's quite embarrassing, especially since it's I on know. camera. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yep. That's zero. There we are. Whoa. She doubled. That's what happened there. Uh, oh, 3.39 wow. ounces. That's hefty. Let's compare that to, let's see, like the dragonfly. 1.2 ounces. Wow. Ooh, let's compare this to another lightweight option. 2.4 ounces, okay. Ooh, and let's compare this to this just because I haven't ever weighed this and I want to see how much it weighs. Wow, 2.8 2. 2. Okay, for the is... size of that blade. Yeah, good to know. Uh, I mean, not for anybody that like wants to get one of these because you can't really get one or find one or this just doesn't even work in the living room. Let's just get it out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Okay. <clears throat> Back to the task at hand. We get so sidetracked sometimes. The so, money bug out. 
the mini bug out. Uh, but yeah, no, I think that uh, the the bug out is really was uh, as soon as it came out was a pretty classic uh, uh, model for Benchmade. I, I think it's done really well for them. Uh, also, really love seeing that they have uh, added that to the custom shop. Um, not the mini, but the standard bug out. Which, to be honest, is going to be a little bit more universal for a, a majority of people's hand sizes. Yeah, this is very small. Um, I can. I have smaller hands, so I can fit four fingers. But I'd say most guys, it'll be a more of a three-finger type knife. Uh, it might be a little bit too small for some, but really great option for the smaller hands mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, as well as if you're wanting like a smaller option to you know uh, carry this with you know something a, a little bit bigger like your uh, beautiful Chris Reeve uh, uh, in Kosi there or maybe if you wanted to pair it with uh, you know I don't know your Spyderco military there what else looks good with brass because I just started just started putting stuff next to brass that doesn't look as good with brass does it no, it doesn't look as good, but damn, that looks good. Brass looks good with brass. Oh, okay. hey, whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. whoa. That's uh, that's actually a good idea. Yeah. Do, do we have any more brass? That would look, oh, whoa, yeah. That, that does look pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> what else we got? That that actually looks really... Oh, wow. There's a, another ruck that <clears throat> has got some brass. Mm -hmm. A little brass bead. <laughs> there's another uh it's a a lanyard it's got a little brass thing in there we're not going to open it for the for the sake of this damn throwaway gag but we we almost did um but yeah guys so i mean <clears throat> to me i really do think that uh that the bench made bug out and mini bug out are, are really great additions uh to uh bench made's lineup and, and really, like I said, love that uh, a lot of companies are doing copper, brass, titanium, um, different kind of scale materials that oh, I, I think really help with some of the issues with the knives. Because the only issue that I've kind of frequently seen with the bug out and mini bug out is just some centering issues. Um, and that is, you know, that can always be tricky when you're dealing with a knife that has uh, so much FRN and not nearly as much um, steel on there, steel liners or anything like that. You can have some centering issues. Um, and so uh, I do, uh, or have heard and then have obviously seen on this guy how those tougher scales really, oh, there we are really help with centering. Gosh, that is harder to get on camera than you think. Uh, but yeah, really, really do love this guy. And uh, guys, leave a comment uh, below if you think that Kane should go with the brass um, thumb studs uh, that Flytanium's recently done, or maybe like something like blue or something to add kind of a speck of color. Uh, what do you guys think? I'm leaning towards brass uh, personally, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the uh, comments below. I always feel so silly to say that. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> and I guess since we are talking about these scales and that thumb set, I think Flytanium has great prices for the stuff that they're coming out with, mm -hmm. especially compared to some custom scales, which can cost upwards of $100 or more. Um, these, I believe, are $59 for both scales. Um, which a lot of times, you know, just the front scale would be like $80 from some places. So not a bad pricing. And I think the thumb stud is only $10. So yeah. very, very economical for high quality stuff, which I really, really enjoy. And also, um, you can get different color um, barrel spacers as well. So, I mean, just uh, definitely something that you can really make your own. Okay, I liked it better down there. Boop. Uh, but yeah, so we are going to be doing a, a full review on this guy. I know that this isn't something that you can necessarily uh, easily go out and buy this exact variation, but we're going to be giving you guys our two cents on the uh, mini bug out, and hopefully by the time we do that video, we, we might snag a full size bug out as well. Uh, we will, you know, we will see. Got to feed the beast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, but we'll see on that one. But yeah, for the most part. 
uh, that is all we have got. So, guys, thanks for stopping by the living room. It's time to go. Have a good one.